Hello, everyone. My name is Ting Yao from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. My talk today is Matrix KV, reducing write store and write amplification in LSM tree based KV stores with a matrix container in NVM. This is a joint work of PinCap Company, the University of Texas at Arlington, and Temple University. I will give this talk in four parts. First, let me introduce the backgrounds and motivation. l 7 based KV store are widely deployed in write intensive scenarios. Popular KV stores such as LevelDB, Cassandra, and RocksDB are built with l 7 and they usually run on systems with DRAM and SSD storages. LSM trees offer high write throughput by batching write in memory and offer fast read and range queries with lifetime compaction. This figure presents the structure of an LSM tree in the popular implementation, RocksDB. RocksDB is composed of a DRAM component and an SSD component. LSM tree levels on SSD are exponentially increased from level 0 to level 6 at the amplification factor of 10. Write request first insert into memory tables in DRAM, then flush to SSD. Finally, do level-by-level -level compactions. Overall, the operations of RocksDB manually includes insert, flush, and compaction of multiple levels. To better understand the LSM tree-based KV store, we evaluate RocksDB by randomly writing an 80 gigabyte dataset and measure the random write throughput in every 10 seconds. From this figure, we first observe the challenge of write stall. That is, application throughput periodically drop to nearly zero. The troughs of system throughput indicate write stops. The dramatic fluctuation of per performance and long tail latencies go against the non-SQL system's design goal of predictable and stable performance. To figure out the reason of write stops, we record the period of each flush and compaction of different levels. Surprisingly, we find that the period of level 0 to level 1 compaction matches write store approximately. Here we can see that each red line represents a level 0 to level 1 compaction. Its lengths along x-axis represent the latency of the compaction. The right y-axis shows the amount of data processed in each compaction. So, it reaches 3.1 gigabyte on average. Now, we elaborate the level 0 to level 1 compaction to explain why it involves so much compaction data. To compact a level 0 to level 1 compaction, first, we pick a victim access table in level 0. Second, Overlapped SS tables in level 1 are picked. Third, since SS tables in level 0 are overlapped to each other, we go back to level 0 and pick more SS tables within the compaction key range. Fourth, we go to level 1 and find if there are any other overlapped SS tables and pick it. And pick it. So now we get all the compaction data. All the compaction data are read into the memory, merge, and sort, then right back to level 1. As we go back and forth between level 0 and level 1, almost SS, all access tables in both levels joins the level 0 to level 1 compaction in the end. So the large amount of compaction data leads to heavy read, merge, write, which takes up CPU cycles and SSD bandwidth, thus blocking foreground requests and making level 0 to level 1 compaction the primary cause of write stores. From the same test, 
we observe the second challenge. As the green line shows, system throughput degrades with the increase of data set size. The growing data set increases the depth of an LSM tree so that brings more compaction and thus higher write amplification. As we know, LSM tree based KV stores have long been criticized for their high write amplification due to level by level compactions. With the amplification factor of adjacent levels of 10 by default, write amplification increases with the number of levels, that is, write amplification equals to AF times N, where N is the number of levels. Emerging non-volatile memory technologies has the property of fast access, by adjustable, and persistency. So it provides us a potential solution to address the above challenges. NovSM from ADC18 adopts NVM to store large mutable memory tables. From the right figure, we can see that NovSM improves random write throughput compared to RocksDB, it's about 1.7 times. So to some extent, it do reduce write amplification. However, it significantly increases the size of unsorted level zero. That makes level zero to level one compaction data reaches 15 gigabyte. The large amount of compaction data making the period of write store extended severely. Hence, we say the state-of-art solution NovSM is not sufficient to address the both two challenging issues. From the above analysis, we conclude that the all-to-all -all level zero to level one compaction is the main cause of write store. Write store brings unpredictable and unstable performance. The increased depth of LSM tree is the main cause of increased write amplification. Higher write amplification brings decreased system performance, especially decreased random write throughput. Motivated by these challenging issues, we propose Matrix KV that aims to reducing write store and write amplification in LSM tree based KV stores by exploiting NVM. Next, we will see the design of Matrix KV. This figure shows the overall architecture of Matrix KV. We add an NVM between DRAM and SSD. So as we can see from the right figure, from the, from the top to the bottom, DRAM batches right. NVM stores the top level of LSM tree with our proposed Matrix container. SSD stores the remaining levels of a flattened LSM tree. Matrix KV has four design strategies. First, the matrix container in NVM that stores and manage the unsorted level zero. Second, the column compaction to reduce write stores. Third, the flattened LSM tree on SSD to reduce write amplification. And fourth, the cross-row hint search to improve the read efficiency in NVM. In the following, I will introduce all the four design strategies one by one. First, let's see the matrix container. Matrix container manages the level zero of LSM tree. It consists of a receiver and a compactor. For receiver, it receives flushed memory table from DRAM and stores them row by row, where each row is organized as a row table. As shown in this figure, an immutable memory table flushed from DRAM is stored in the receiver as a row table. Once the receiver is fully filled, in process A, it logically turns into a compactor. Then, for compactor, it compacts data from level 0 to level 1, column by column. We call it column compaction, like this. 
The NVM pages of a colon are freed after the colon compaction. Those free pages are returned to the free list and waiting for storing newly flushed data. Here we show the row table structure. Row table consists of data and metadata. The data region stores serialized KV items from the immutable memory table. The metadata region is a sorted array. Each array map element maintains the key, the page number, the offsetting the page, and a forward pointer for cross-row hint search. To locate a KV item in this row table, we just need binary search the sorted array to get the target key, and then its value can be indexed with the page number and offset. With the matrix container and the row table, now we can do we can do the fine-grained column compaction for level zero and level one. The non-overlapped level one on SSD provide us a sorted key space with multiple contiguous key ranges. As shown in this figure, the contiguous key range are zero to three, three to five. 528 and so on. Now, I introduce a, the column compaction with an example. Column compaction starts from the first key range in level one, that is zero to three. Then, multiple threads in the compactor or multiple threads in the compactor searches the keys within the key range zero to three like this. If the amount of data is under the threshold of a compaction, the next key range three to five joins. If the amount of data is still not enough, the next range five to eight joins. So finally, the compaction range is zero to eight. A logical colon is formed with the data within the key range zero to eight, and the colon compaction merges the column and the first two SS tables in level one. And then we do the next column compaction at range A to 30 and the next one. So by processing level zero to level one col compaction, column by column, each compaction only merges a small key range that has very limited amount of data. Hence, the column compaction can reduce write amplification, write stores due to all to all compaction. Since write amplification equals to AF times the number of LCM tree levels, Matrix KV tries to flatten the LCM tree to reduce write amplification. So what we do is keep the AF unchanged while increasing the size of level zero and level one to reduce the M. Due to column compaction, the size of level zero and level one does not affect the overhead of level zero to level one compaction. It always adds a limited amount of data. Since larger unsorted level zero might decrease the read efficiency of matrix KV, we propose cross-row hint search next. The process of cross-row hint search to process the cross-row hint search, we need to construct cross-row hint with forward po pointers first. For the key X in row table I, its forward point indexes the key Y in row table I minus one, where Y always the first key that no less than X. So for example here, three points to three, five points to six, seven points to eight, and so on. In this way, we can logically sort all keys in level zero. Now, if we want to search the key 12, we first binary search the row table three to get two adjacent keys where the 12 might reside, that is, 
key 10 and 23. With the forward pointer of 10 and 23, we can go to row table 2. The key 8 is added into our search region because 12 is between 8 and 13. Then we will go to row table 1 with the forward pointer of key 8 and 13. Then we go to let row table 0 finally and find 12 in row table 0. From this yellow region, we can see that cross row hint search compares fewer keys, thus reducing the search overhead compared to traverse all of the keys and com compares all of the keys. For the evaluation, we compare matrix KV with conventional RocksDB, which is the SSD-based RocksDB and the RocksDB level 0 NVM, where it put level 0 in NVM and the run on systems with DRAM NVM SSD hierarchy. Uh, then it's the state of art now SM. All the systems use 8 gigabyte opt-in DCPMM. This figure shows the random write throughput with value sizes ranging from 64 byte to 64 kilobyte. Generally, Matrix KV obtains the best random write performance in all the different value sizes. We just take the 4 KB value size as an example. Matrix KV outperforms RocksDB level 0 and the end by 3.6 times and outperforms NovSM by 2.6 times, respectively. Next, we will in explain this advantage of matrix KV comes from two reasons. The first is reduced write store. The second is decreased write amplification. By recording the throughput in every 10 seconds during the 80 gigabyte random node, we see the fluctuation of system performance. Here, matrix KV is represented by red line. This figure shows that matrix KV is the fastest to load the same 80 gigabyte data set. And it has the most stable random write throughput, which means we do reduce write stars with column compaction. OK. In terms of tail latency, we can see that Matrix KV obtains the shortest tail latency in all cases. Taking the 99% tail latency as an example, Matrix KV is 27 times lower than RocksDB SSD, 5 times lower than NovSM, and 1.9 times lower than RocksDB level 0 NVM. Here, we record each level 0 to level 1 compaction to explain why matrix KV reduce write stores. From this figure, we can see that for each level 0 to level 1 compaction, NovSM merges 15 gigabyte data. NovSM as uh, RocksDB SSD merges 3.1 gigabyte data. RocksDB level 0 NVM merges 4.9 gigabyte data. However, Matrix KV only merges 33 megabyte data and it do the column compaction for 467 times. So the small but multiple time compaction reduce write stall. Here we show the write amplification of randomly loading 80 gigabyte data set. Test results show that by flattening the LSM tree, matrix KV reduces write amplification than other three systems. That's it. that is 3.43 times. Here, write amplification is calculated by the ratio of amount of data written to SSD to amount of data written by users. In summary, conventional SSD-based KV store R uh, has, unpredict has unpredictable performance due to write stores. 
and decreased the performance due to higher right amplification. Matrix KV built an LSM chip based KV store for systems with DRAM, NVM, and SSD storage. With four design strategies, Matrix KV reduces write store and improves write throughput finally. Thanks, everyone.